welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to recreate afternoon tea. I am freaking excited because I was actually introduced to high tea and afternoon tea when we went to London and we went to this um, Ritz Carlton or Marriott property and uh, experienced it for the first time and after that I was just hooked because it was just like tea time but for adults and it's like oh my god I've been doing this my whole life this is this is amazing. So I've always, um, you know, scouted out different tea places in my in my area, and I just I love it so much. So um, I wanted to recreate it at home, and that people could experience it themselves. And it's funny because I actually introduced um, I well I invited my parents over to have tea time, and the person I loved it the most was actually my dad. My dad was like, Oh my god, I have never like tried this in like in my whole entire life so i was just and he really loved it so i hope you guys enjoy it please share it with your friends and family if you do recreate it please tag me <laughs> to start off our afternoon tea event we are going to make three different sandwiches the first one is going to be a smoked salmon sandwich here i'm just cutting up some dill adding some lemon zest and sour cream to make the spread. You'll also need cucumber, and of course your smoked salmon. All these sandwiches are quite easy to make. But the most important thing is that we make sure we cut off all the crust and cutting it into small bite-sized pieces. The next sandwich is just going to be a basic ham and cheese sandwich. Here I'm just adding on some mayonnaise, provolone cheese, and smoked honey ham. The next sandwich we're going to make is a egg salad sandwich. I'm just cutting it into small pieces. Then we're going to add butter, Dijon mustard. I also add mayonnaise and yellow mustard. Then I'm mixing it all up. I'm spreading on a little bit of butter, then adding our egg salad mixture. And of course, cutting off the crust. Now that all our sandwiches are done, we will start plating them. I'm using a round plate and I'm having it face uh, up on the side that way the guests can see what kind of sandwiches they're picking up. Then on a smaller plate, I'm going to add little delicate pieces of cake. If you have macaroons, this would be perfect as well. And since I don't have a three layer tier um, like plate set up, I'm actually just gonna make my own. I'm using this plastic cup here, putting it in the middle, then stacking the plate. That way it still has that same effect as like a two-tier or a three-tier plate setup. 
Next up, we're going to make the crepe cake. I know this is not generally tradi traditional, but since we're doing it at home, we, you can do it however way you want. But I'm just adding uh, three eggs and some milk, butter and flour and matcha, because we're just gonna be a matcha crepe cake. Make sure you wanna strain the batter that way you don't have any random lumps and clumps in your batter. Now, I'm using a crepe maker, but you can also just use a pan if you like. And we'll be making quite a few layers of crepes. Probably about 13 to 14 of these. Then you just repeat the process. Moving on, we're going to make the filling or the, the filling of the cake. You want to whip it till it is nice and thick. Then we're going to start laying our crepe cake. It should look something a little bit like this. Now our guests are almost here, so uh, I'm going to be baking the biscuits. I wanted to bake it close to when the guests arrive because it only takes about 10 to 13 minutes to bake biscuits and that way it's nice and hot when they get here. And here's what they should look like. I actually bought the biscuits from the store, by the way. I didn't make this from scratch. Now the biscuits are done, let's brew the tea. Everything should be perfect and ready to go. I hope you guys enjoy. Say 